Uh, hello, my name is Kang Mo Gu. I'm your instructor in Metabolomics online course. Today I'm going to show you PLS regression model. PLS stands for partial least square regression model. So I use this method in publication that uh, conduct uh, uh, determine the relationship between food pathogen and plant surface lipidomics. Fruit and uh, salad vegetable we just eat without washing so it usually make significant of economic loss and loss of casualty. Uh, however, this food pathogen is usually interact with epicuticle wax which is the almost uh, plant surface layer. This epicuticle wax is usually very thin and also very uh, little of yeah, epicutical wax. Uh, the function of epicutical wax is photos yeah, in order to enhance yeah, photosynthesis and prevent water loss during the yeah, post harvest and also during the growing and also prevent UVDB damage and insect resistance and also yeah, plant and food pathogen interaction but this part is not fully studied so I studied yeah previously. So plant surface is yeah composed of lots of different uh, fatty acid including uh, arcane and alcohol fatty acid and ketone and aldehyde. These are all uh, more than 20 carbon which is hydrophobic and so it it make uh, plant surface is more high hydrophobic surface and Usually, hydrophobic surface has very low wettability. So, uh, in order to measure wettability, people use contact angle. This tangent uh, angle is yeah contact angle. So, more than ninety percentage, ninety degree is yeah considered hydrophobic, and less than ninety degrees considered hydrophilic surface. But this sur uh, but Contact angle is not only determined by plant uh, chemical, but also determined by chemi uh, physical property. For example, if there is a yeah, cuticle fold and then lots of yeah, epicuticle wax, it makes a very high contact angle. Usually, yeah, kale or lot lotus is a good example. And if there is a yeah, plant cuticle and, and three-dimensional epicuticle crystal that also create yeah, hydrophobic surface. Uh, some lettuce yeah, create this kind of surface. And lots of spinach, argula, and most uh, lettuce create this kind of yeah, plate yeah, cuticle layer with no uh, epicuticle wax crystal. Then it usually has very low contact angle. So in order to understand how these physiochemical properties affect on uh, rotavirus attachment, so we conduct, yeah, we evaluate physiochemical property of 24 different salad vegetable, including lettuce, cabbage, and yeah, tomato, tomato, and etc. And I got this kind of data, and this is correlation table. And bilar attachment is highly uh, correlated with uh, arcane and fatty acid and total wax. Uh, so based on this yeah, information, I create a PLS uh, prediction model, which was called PLS uh, regression model. So it 0 0.60 R square that indicate. 60% uh, of rotavirus attachment is explained by measured variables that in, uh, including arcanes, fatty acid, alcohol, ketone, contact angle, and surface roughness. So, uh, yeah, VIP, yeah, plot. So the higher VIP value indicate yeah, yeah, good biomarker. Usually, more than 0.8. Uh, VIP value consider good yeah uh, biomarker that uh, effectively reduce uh, dimension. So yeah, that data I publish plus one, so I can yeah 
freely yeah, use my my data. From now, I will demonstrate how to um, conduct a PLS regression model. Uh, here's a data set that I collect from the 24 different fruit and vegetables that include uh, arcane, fatty acid, alcohol, and ketone, and, and other data. And uh, I will copy and paste uh, these yeah, data set uh, to the jump 12. I will open jump 12 and then click the new data table and I will copy and paste from the uh, Excel uh, simply control C and control V but yeah if you want to add uh, label you need to go edit and then paste with label please and then you need we need to go analyze and then click the multivariate method and find partial list square and click partial list square and then I would like to include all measured variables in arcane, fatty acid, alcohol and other uh, variables including yeah, contact angle and total wax to the x, ve x vector and using this factor, we are going to uh, predict uh, rotavirus attachment. So uh, we are going to add uh, rotavirus attachment as a Y variable. And then, yeah, click OK. And then just simply click, yeah, go. Then you will see the result. So here's a result. So if you look at the model comparison summary, 24 uh, variable, uh, sam yeah, sample number, and we, the software extract two component that explain 74 and 55 uh, total variation of X and Y. And there are seven uh, VIP value that uh, greater than 0.8, which is can significantly reduce uh, dimension. And then if you go to the red button and click VIP value plot, you will see this one. And then you can sort using VIP. Yeah. And then the highest value was fatty acid and total wax and arcane and other value. So the higher value of VIP indicate that uh, good biomarker because it, uh, it, it uh, uh, is effectively reduced um, uh, dimension. So uh, usually 0.8 is a yeah, uh, good threshold to cut off uh, other uh, non-significant yeah, VIP value. In order to make a yeah, prediction model, uh, click red button again and then go to the uh, save column and then go to the save y predicted value click then you will see a new column which called uh, predicted log 10 viral attachment using this uh, new column uh, we are going to draw linear uh, regression model go to the analyze and then click the fit y by x and uh, put predicted value to the x and then you can we can put yeah log 10 viral attachment which is measured value as y yeah response then you will see this kind of yeah re, uh, lots of yeah scattered yeah plot and go to the red button and pit line in order to test uh, the regression model so this is linear regression model and you can check uh, how many uh, sample is within 95% confidence. Uh, most of, of sample is within yeah, 95% yeah, confidence area. If you check the summary of feed, and you can see R square value is 0.55, which indicate 55% of this viral uh, attachment is explained by selected uh, variable.